Uh, Kim, what did you like and what did you not like and what you saw tonight? It was a game where I was glad the other team played zone. Uh, we need to go against teams that play zone and um, um, I thought we attacked later the zones better. When the game started, I didn't think that we were we were confused if they were in a 3-2 or if they were in a 2-3 and we didn't have people in the right position. So we'll get the film out tomorrow and look at ourselves before we look at Western Carolina. It looked to me like they tried to uh, focus on um, on your bigs and uh, yeah, especially. Yeah, they, they were not and, coming out. They We actually tried to run a couple picks where um, we tried to screen the zone and they wouldn't come out, so we had some open looks. But um, – you know, that's, that's to be expected. And it looked like Ladesia benefited from uh, the attention uh, Angel must have gotten uh, with a well, strong start. they're the both very good players, and they complement each other very well. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm just – our post, we have five, and, and I'm just so proud of their improvement. And as they play more together, I think that uh, especially Angel and um, Ladesia, because they're older, uh, they'll be a, a great tandem for us to have when we start SEC play. And Alexis, Alexis operated real well in the first half as uh, a lot of assists. It looked like she was getting Well, she at one point didn't have a turnover. And I think she finished the night, if I remember, she had seven assists to one turnover. That's outstanding. I think she shot the ball well from the uh, perimeter. She only missed three or four shots. Uh, when you can do that and you're the primary ball handler, uh, and have that kind of assist to turnover ratio, she had a good night. Ladesia, talk about all the opportunities. It looked like you got a lot of opportunities. Uh, you even had like a coast to coast after a steal layup. Uh, it was a good night for you, especially in the first half. Uh, just making sure I'm, I'm moving without the ball and just being available for my teammates. Coach, last game you talked about defense and rebounding being a staple of your teams. How do you feel like your team crashed the boards tonight and played defensively? Well, Angel and Samaya, you better know where they are at all times because they they do rebound the, the ball hard. Uh, Ladeja's capable of getting double-figure rebounds. Um, we have to do that. We have to defend and we have to rebound. And that has to be – priorities for us. We know we've got talent and we know a lot of them can score. But there are going to be nights where you're playing teams that are better than you. You better rely on your defense and rebounding to keep you in games and win you games. And so that's what we'll do tomorrow. In the morning, we're going to take this game and we're going to work on transition defense and show them mistakes. We're going to show them where they're standing up because honestly, in when you deal with this many pieces, new pieces, and you tell them something, they don't really realize the mistake they're making on the defensive end. So you bring them in and you show them on the film. And then what you have to get them to do is take it from the film room to the court, transitioning it. They see it and they go, oh, yeah, I see now. But then you go to the court and it kind of like you forget. It'll happen. It's just constantly teaching. Jasmine, talk about what, what your coach just talked about, uh, attacking their zones and, and how y'all <clears throat> improved at that tonight as you went along. Um, I think um, during the second, third, fourth and quarter, the, the second, third, fourth quarter, we did a better job of moving the ball, attacking the zone, and finding open people. Um, it's just a work in progress. It's still early. Um, I think a lot of teams may play us in zone because of our posts. Um, are so dominant in the post. So it was, um, you know, a good night to work on, you know, what we needed to work on. Kim, um, yeah, the, uh, the tra you mentioned the transition defense. It looked like y'all gave up some layups and then you got beat in transition a couple of times too. Was it that, is it that much of a problem or is it just one of those things you No, it's something tuning? we have to work on. And what happens is, I just vividly remember when I subbed all five out in the fourth quarter and I put a five new in, what was the first thing they did? They gave up a transition layup. So I have to, as a coach, go, who was on the floor at that time? Freshman, freshman, new. Fre 
I still got to teach. I'm not looking at the scoreboard. I'm looking at those are valuable minutes. How did we do it? There were points earlier in the game where it happens to post a lot of times. They think those posts are coming down to the paint, and they sit there and they wait on them. And in this game now, when you don't have true post play, they'll stop outside the three, and then they're just caught. And so it's just teaching, and it's something that we work on as much as anything. We work on transition defense because it's, it's kind of a problem for us right now. I don't want to say a problem. We're just not very fluid. Also, I noticed Tamia where did not play Tamia tonight. Tamia got in the transfer portal. Uh, love her to death. She just wants to play. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when a kid tells you that? You get up and you hug her neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to do anything. She can call me. I called her mom. Her mom moved here from Chicago with her and wherever she'll go. Uh, she said her mom will move with her. Uh, love to me, but you never fault a kid when they just say, I want to play coach. I want to go somewhere where I can play. And you just, she doesn't come in griping and asking for minutes because they know they're not going to get answers like that. And uh, But she got in the portal, I think, yesterday. Um, so she'll finish the semester out here and uh, go take visits places and um, – just a good kid, smart, makes good grades. Good? Thank you. Thanks. You know, if she goes to the port, would she be able to play, say, in January? No. No. Uh, she would have to – she would start next year. What you try to do, she's she's got one game here. So, um, and as I – and I hope I'm saying this right to her, but her next stop will have to help her try to get this year back. You can, like, do waivers and things. I don't know how that works, but I hope she does. Uh, but she can't go play right now. She would, from what I've been told, be eligible to play. She'd sit this next semester out wherever she goes and be ready to go in the fall. Is it the fall? Yeah. All right, thank you, guys. Uh -huh.